TGS is a very unique thing, and it would be not possible if it weren't run by an equally as unique person. So please welcome for a few words to open us up, our founder, Joanne McPike. Um, before I start, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the graduates and students that are not here today. Uh, Kyo, Saki, Ella, Max, and Ina, Riley, and Cullen. Uh, you made a mistake and had to suffer the consequences based on an agreed contract that you signed, but this doesn't take away from the wonderful years you had at TGS being pioneers of the change make curriculum, and it doesn't take away from the impact that you've had on our community. We always make silly decisions in life, especially in our teenage years. It's all part of our learning. I know you've learned a big lesson, um, but I miss you. I miss seeing your smiling faces, and I will miss giving you a hug at the diploma ceremony. This is really weird hearing the echo because I'm talking and then the echo comes like two seconds after. <laughs> so what do I want for you? Who do I want you to be? What do I hope this is experience that think local school is giving you? And there are so many things but these are the main four. Be curious, be compassionate, be kind and be brave. Be curious. Never, ever, ever stop being curious. Always ask why of the world and of yourselves. You'll get to a point in life that you have already gotten there when you start asking what is the meaning of life? Why am I here? Each one of us will probably come up with different reasons at different points in our life based on our different life experiences. But what I personally have finally said on after years of thinking it was to eat chocolate, cry, and sit in confusion as why I existed, I realized that that confusion was exactly the reason why I was here. I was here to be curious, to learn, and to experience life. And the simplicity of that thought suddenly made everything very clear to me. The meaning of life was to live and to discover, to face each joy and each challenge with curiosity. My head tipped to the side, and then knowing that things weren't happening to me, but they were happening for me. For me to learn something about the world, and most importantly, about myself. And at that point, I began looking at the challenges differently. Not that they weren't scary, I could admit to being afraid, and that fear is now an indicator that I have something to learn. And I welcome that with curiosity, and so should you. Next, be compassionate. Compassion is quiet and gentle. It doesn't yell or take sides. Compassion listens and compassion hears. Compassion looks at both sides and finds the good. Compassion forgives. There's curiosity in compassion. It doesn't mean letting someone get away with what they've done or avoiding responsibility. But compassion reminds us that we're all human. One of the most important things to have compassion for is yourself. Now, as I was writing that, in my head, it was like, no, it's your parents, it's your parents, it's your parents you have to have compassion for because as kids, as we get older, as parents, we're going to drive you mad. And so please have compassion for us, big time. But no, it's yourself. Don't be so hard on yourselves. Remember, you're a learning being. Which takes me to the next point. Be kind. So, if compassion is the being, kindness is the doing. Be kind to everyone and everything, always. It's so simple. There's no ego in kindness. In every interaction with everything on this planet, Ask yourself, am I kind? Am I leaving this person, this animal, this planet, gosh, this planet, better off? 
Think about this when you get into an argument with someone or when you see that someone needs help. Think about it when you use plastic or eat meat, when you run the water to brush your teeth. Kindness exhibits itself. Kindness exhibits itself in a myriad of ways. But most importantly, be kind to yourselves. Be gentle. Hold yourselves with integrity. Here are some of your choices. Some will be right, some will be wrong. You will win, you will lose, you will succeed, you will fail. But be honest with yourself. And admit when you are wrong and you mess up. Be curious about why. And have compassion with yourself with the knowledge that you're still learning. And be brave. Be brave to carry on. Because when things, when things get scary, and they will, Bravery is fighting that feeling in your chest that makes you want to curl up in a ball and stop. But this is where the curiosity comes in again. Why am I afraid? What am I afraid of? Be brave and go inwards. The silence of our minds is the scariest place to go, but it's where all the answers lie. Be brave about when you be, be brave about speaking up when you don't agree with something. Or speaking up when you do agree with something. Be brave about doing things. Don't just sit in the corner and spout rhetoric. There are too many people with opinions. Don't just talk, take action. Be brave with your curiosity. Be brave with your compassion. And be brave with your kindness. These are the true signs of strength. Be brave and lead by example. So, to close off, a lesson from my best teacher, Alexander, my son. So we were walking in the park the other day, and we were discussing how we are all just the result of our choices, whether we accept responsibility for them, or whether we try to blame others. And he looked at me, and he goes, well, I think people eventually deserve themselves. Now let that run through your head for a minute. People eventually deserve themselves. So as you head out into the world, think about it. Who do you deserve to be? It's all up to you. It's your choice. So congratulations for being brave, for being the first change makers. Um, we're going to miss you. You're my heroes. I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future and I love you very much.